An island named Diofield. Long known as the home of the gods, the island has basked in nothing but peace for centuries. Alas, an inescapable wave of chaos and change appears to be approaching. While sojourning in Leicestershire at the Leicester residence, the fourth-born prince, Avantia Shatham, comes under attack. Amidst the chaos, Andreas and Frederick hurry to his aid, and under their courageous protection, he escapes the manor. However, they are ambushed and Levantia is felled by an assassin's hand. With his last breath, he entrusts the future to his friends. Levantia's now limp hand bears the mark of the blessed, proof of his rightful claim to kingship. A way of life. So far, so good. We need to be sure the bandit's target hasn't come to her. To the carriage. Let's just say that we're soldiers. Soldiers? Then might I ask you to secure this area? You will be rewarded, of course. Oh, and take this as well, just in case. It's a prototype, but it should serve you well. Certainly. Please, seek shelter and leave the fighting to us. Who do you lot think you are, sticking your nose in where it don't belong? Hand her over! Everything's going according to plan. You remember the next steps, Rius?
Of course. Good. Then let's get this done. Understood. Got it. Go. to have made it this far. But your luck ends here! There are even more of them to deal with now. What's the plan? Let's find ways to hit as many of them as we can at once. Does that sound doable, Rias? Very much so. I'm ready when you are. Good. Then let's get this over with. Go. Got it. Understood. Be gone with you. Are glowing. Does that mean we can use it, perhaps? A royal government prototype, huh? Well, let's see what it can do. Understood. Go. Got it. It would seem I've grown stronger. Goodness, you were here. Would you mind if I asked your names? My name is Frederick Lester. My companion here is Andreas Ronderson. And our third is Isolair Wigan. We are in the employ of the Wigan family. I see. I am Lorraine Luxor. Are you familiar with Duke William Hende of the Lord's Council? The Duke is establishing a private military unit and has entrusted me with the task. From what I have seen today, the three of you would be an ideal fit, should you be interested. If you are, visit our headquarters at Elm Camp. I will see to it you are let through. A Lord Councillor's private mercenary unit, eh? 
It seems the plan's coming together, Andreas. Aye. Onward and upward. Let's go. Andreas and his fellow Central Field mercenaries come to the rescue of a government official, Lorraine Luxshaw, and are invited to join Duke Hende's private militia as a result of the prowess they display. This unit is headed by Commander Yalzum Jordan, a former knight from a mid-ranking noble family. And the mercenary trio's first task is to go and meet their new commander at the unit's base. Here we are. Whoa! Look at this! It's amazing! <gasps> wow! Well, the Duke is said to be a connoisseur of foreign culture. <gasps> this, he would have had specially imported, I'm sure. Well, well, well. Not just a ragtag band of sellswords after all. I'm intrigued. Greetings, everyone. I'm the General Administrator for the unit, Lorraine Luxshaw. And this is our commander. Yulzim Jordan. I'm in charge of this unit. I assume you're the new recruit. Yes. I am Frederick Lester. Andreas Ronderson. Isola Wigan, at your command. Wigan? Well, he was a brilliant fighter. Never struck me as... the fatherly type. I'm sure you will endeavor not to sully our unit's name. I will. Now, like other mercenaries, we take requests from the citizenry. But with one important caveat. Since this unit is financed by Duke Hende, his orders always take precedence. No exceptions. Don't disappoint him. I trust in your ability. Once again, I shall now explain. Consequently, and with that, you will surely succeed. Come to think of it, very well. Well done. Yes. And also... Yeah, well... My thanks. Oh. 
耶！We go. Oh, really? Damn. Uh, hmm. All the more reason. I need to muster more strength first. Do me proud. I. Things are going rather well, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, finding out those bandits' plans? Talk about a stroke of luck. I mean, I know you have your ways, Rias, but where's to pick up a tidbit like that? I simply happened across it. This is a big step forward in any case. For Izzy, as she strives to prove herself, and for you and I, as we aim to bring peace to the country, may our dreams spur us on to victory. And may we three fight as one. Hear, hear. The era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. War looms dark over the Rotail mainland. And amid the unrest, the common bandit Trovelt Chauvier sees his opportunity and establishes an empire. Commanding a disciplined army and versed in modern magic, the empire is a power to be reckoned with. It promptly establishes control over the western part of the continent. Rotale's other nations respond by forming an alliance to combat the threat of the empire. Despite their combined strength, they were largely powerless to resist the Empire's advance. The continent was ravaged by the devastating war between the Empire and the Alliance. However, one nation remained unaffected by the chaos. The Kingdom of Alatane, on Diofield Island, situated off the northwestern coast of Rotale. On the mainland, the war reached a stalemate when the powerful Vermin Republic joined forces with the Alliance. The two sides were now evenly matched. However, localized fighting continued to intensify in a bid to secure Jade, a resource for modern magic. With Jade believed to be abundant on Diofield, the attention of both the Empire and the Alliance inevitably turned towards the island. The Kingdom of Alatane Ward of the Orgus looked destined to have its soil stained with the blood of battle.
Go to sec. Right. Uh. Oh, bother. <laughs> As expected. Andreas. If you wouldn't mind, how does that sound? Hey! Our next mission has come directly from Duke Hende. It will be carried out along with other mercenary units. The target is a large-scale bandit camp in the Regia Highlands, on the border between Centralfield and Westfield. Droves of mercenaries from across the region have been mobilized for this particular task. We will combine to make a large strike force and attack in concert. So. Any questions? Commander, numbers are hardly a boon when the way to the bandit camp leads through a narrow gorge. Indeed. Rather than engage the enemy head on, we could target their leaders in a stealth attack. Yes. If we take a small unit and set off tonight, we will have a good chance of catching them off guard. Then there should be only a handful of surviving bandits left. The main force can mop them up when they arrive at the break of day tomorrow. You suggest merely pretending to work jointly with the others to steal a march on the enemy? Yes. I propose that Frederick, Isolaire, and myself form a separate task force for this purpose. I also suggest that you join the main group, Commander Yulzin, to draw attention away from our movement. Better keep up the pretense. Very well. If it is a diversion that's required, I would certainly help to make it convincing. I feel we would also benefit from having a talented sniper join our ranks. The knight errant Iscarion would certainly fit the bill, Commander. He is one of the mercenaries participating in the raid. A self-proclaimed knight, no? Very well. I will visit him at the encampment after you set off and ask him to join you. Thank you, Commander. Now. We had better set off for the Regia Highlands. I don't really understand why the bandits have started attacking the cliff folk, to be honest. Perhaps they're after some rare treasures. Or maybe, maybe there's been a territorial dispute between those that dwell in the Highlands. I suppose we'll have to ask them about that, won't we? Though, I imagine they'll be tight-lipped. Huh? All right, then we'd best get ourselves to the base of the mountain. More troops should be joining the main force before long. Yes. The plan is for them to set off for the bandit camp at first light. Good. Then we should make haste. Hmm? Who's there? Well, well. What do we have here? You don't look like bandits. Mercenaries, perhaps? And I might ask, who are you? I am a Scarian Colchester. He's here already? Wow! Amazing! Commander Jordan works ever so quickly. No. 
it doesn't work this quickly. A legion of mercenaries all attacking at once would lead to utter carnage and would result in casualties among the people we're trying to help. More so, unlike a regular army, mercenaries are not used to cooperating, meaning they are looking out for themselves and only themselves. <laughs> a full-on assault is bound to fail. Therefore, I decided it more efficient to eliminate their leaders ahead of time. You are going to do that alone? I prefer my own company when picking out unsuspecting targets. Would you not think it'd be better if we worked together? I suppose it might. You do seem different to the money-grubbing mercenaries I've met before. You've piqued my interest. Let us join forces, if only for the moment. I'll take that as a compliment. Now, we'd better be on our way. Get your bow ready, Iscariot. Your famous archery skills are acquired. Very well. Then please, call me Iska. As expected, the enemy are focused on our main battle group, leaving an opening for us. Sounds very much like my time to shine. I'll provide cover should the enemy spot you. Sounds good. Let's go. There's a drawbridge over there. It's been raised. No doubt to keep intruders out. But look what's next to it. Their base is turret. Exactly. If we capture it, we should be able to lower the bridge. Let's make it our priority. On my way. I've got it. Got it. Got it. Understood. I'll take you down. Very well. On my way. Go. Let's get going. Understood. Understood. I'll take you down.
Understood. be the leader of those bandits. Take him down and his mob will surely scatter. Indeed. We'll be done with these scoundrels before the break of day. Got it. On my way. Understood. stronger. Excellent work. The bandits soon fell apart without their leaders. Yes. Thank you, Commander. By the way, I take it that you heard that someone, in fact, incited the bandits to attack the cliff folk. Yes. And there are knights looking into the matter. <clears throat> As it happens, Commander, a knight's requested your audience. Fine, I will see them now. You are free to go. Enjoy some well-deserved rest. Well, I suppose we should turn in for the night. Hmm? Iska? Frederick? Long day, wasn't it? It was indeed. Not as long as it would have been without your help. There's a place for an archer of your caliber in our unit. 
Won't you consider joining us? <laughs> Thank you. I know I told you before that I prefer to work alone, that I valued my independence. But I admit, last night, my limitations were laid bare. I realized the importance of having allies, not for my own sake, but so I might help more people than I could ever help alone. Iska, let me make something clear to you. We are not the highest authority in this unit. That would be the commander. Oh, I know you answer to Yulzim Jordan. Doing a good job of it too, it seems. Yes, well, we do our best. So, Iska, what say you? Will you join us? I will. Yes. Then welcome to the unit. Thank you. It's an honor. After proving his worth in the fight against Goffrin, Iscarion Colchester is asked to join the unit. He had previously fought as a self-styled knight errant, having cut ties with his noble family. Traditionally, the Knights of Alatane rule their own domains and collect taxes from their subjects, from which they pay a portion to the royal government. It is a system widely abused by the aristocracy, who have grown fat off the proceeds. Many of these nobles took up residence in Southfield, the southern region of Deofield. This area is also home to the only trading port on the island. A hub of culture and entertainment. Prosperous on the surface, but below lies a dark underbelly where shady dealings are an everyday occurrence. It is a chaotic place, a melting pot of virtue and vice. Care to explain yourself? Uh, what in the world? Ugh, oh, damn it all! <laughs> That's not it. Hmm.